I don't know how many of you are, are familiar with fitness equipment, but in most fitness centers these days, one of the most basic pieces of equipment that you will find is the treadmill. Fitness centers used to be called gyms, but someone figured out that if we started calling them fitness centers or fit family centers, that they would attract a wider assortment of people, thus giving them greater potential to make more money. The treadmill has remained a constant staple of the environment, whether you call it a gym or a fitness center. The treadmill is one of the most used pieces of equipment that you'll see in any setting. The premise behind the treadmill is a stationary piece of equipment that one uses to walk or run on for health and fitness purposes. Some treadmills come with fancy options like heart rate monitors, programmable routines, television, and incline-decline options. Nonetheless, a treadmill is still just a treadmill, no matter what you add to it or take away. People absolutely love the treadmill. There are days when I go to the gym and every piece of this equipment is occupied. People love to brag about how many minutes or miles they put in on a treadmill. I ran 15 miles. I ran an hour. I feel ready for a marathon. Just the same, have they run a marathon? Better yet, did they really run a distance of 15 miles? They may have put the work in of someone who may have run a distance of 15 miles, but they certainly have not traveled that distance. Unless I'm missing something at the end of the routine, the person is actually in the same spot as they were when they first started the routine. The treadmill is the perfect metaphor for how most people live their lives. There is a certain routine that they follow each and every day. Sure, sometimes they may there may be a, a, some minute nuances from time to time, and there may be moments when uh, it feels as if they're struggling to drive their way up the hills in life. But by the end of the day, they find themselves in the same exact place as they were the day before. Year after year, week after week, month after month, day after day, they get on the treadmill. They change their pace. They increase their intensity. And to the outside world, it appears as if they are getting healthier and stronger. But the reality is they really haven't done anything or gone anywhere of any significance. After a while, they begin to blame the treadmill. Maybe it's the wrong treadmill that I'm on. So they change jobs, like they change underwear, trying to find the perfect job. They change churches more than they change shirts in hopes that they will find that pastor who will tell them what they want to hear and make them feel good at the end of every sermon. They change relationships like they're avoiding a bad rash. They hop in and out of the sack with different people like they volunteered to be a walking petri dish for a major pharmaceutical corporation. When things don't go as planned, they change treadmills. They don't go as they, when things don't go as they would like for things to go, they change treadmills. When they are unhappy, they change treadmills. When a treadmill gets on their nerves, they change it. Sometimes they would just stay on the treadmill because they tried out so many treadmills, they figured what's the point in hopping on another one. No matter what, they eventually end up back on another treadmill, rehashing old injuries and hurts. The pains and disappointments that they thought they'd left 
on a previous one they soon find exist on the one they just started. They run harder, change the incline, change their step pattern, try walking in reverse. But no matter what, they keep ending up in the same place, ever more angry, ever more disappointed, and much more hurt than before. If I may be so bold as to make a suggestion, do yourself a favor and get off the treadmill. The treadmill will never get you where you need to go because the treadmill, treadmill is not an instrument of transportation. The treadmill is a stationary vehicle. It was never designed to move you forward. The treadmill, ladies and gentlemen, is representative of your mind. The way you think and perceive the world around you. It is your value system. What you choose to do with your time. Who you choose to spend your time with. And what you choose to spend your time doing. Yes, the treadmill is your choices. And the repercussions of those choices. It is quite easy to blame your failed relationships. On all the guys that hurt you. Or maybe the irresponsible choices your children make on an absentee father or mother. It's another thing altogether to accept responsibility from what you have done, have not done. And, oh, yeah, maybe what you could have done. Men and women have been casting blame on others since Adam and Eve. No one told you to sleep with that man and have all those children outside of Whitlock, but you did. No one told you that it was okay to rob and steal and lie and cheat, so why are you so angry about being in jail? No one forced you to hop in and out of bed with those men or those women, slowly giving away pieces of your heart and soul until you are a shadow of the hopes and dreams you desire. You made the choice. The treadmill is when we choose to continue repeating the things that cause so much personal injury to us willfully while refusing to accept complete responsibility. People move to different states, different regions, different countries, running from something, seeking something, hoping for something new, a new beginning, but quickly find themselves in the exact same place they started. All that hard work and energy expended for nothing. Here's the truth, ladies and gentlemen. If you want something different, the change you need is not going to come through a new boyfriend, a new girlfriend, a new husband, or a new wife. It won't come through jumping in and out of sack with different people or changing your geographical and locations. No matter what coast you live on, if you want something different, you're going to have to stop running. Get off the treadmill and allow God to do the work in you that is necessary. Let go of your preconceived notions and ideas. Free your mind of what you think you should be or what everyone else says they think you should be and allow him to operate nothing else will or can change in your life until you allow that to happen get off the treadmill and start moving forward <laughs>